This is our grammar lesson. Okay, senior two, this is our grammar lesson. Um, let's share the booklet here together. Okay, our grammar lesson is an old lesson, important lesson, repeated every year with more details. The lesson is um, future form, all the types of, uh, of future forms. Let's go through the questions, um, discuss the questions, answer them, uh, explain the lesson through the questions. Okay, so uh, number one, page 46, as you see, it's arranged. It's arranged. So we will talk about arrangements. So when you see the word arranged, that, that means this is an arrangement. So arrangements, all arrangements, uh, we use the form of going to or uh, verb to be plus going to plus uh, infinitive. So arrangements. So here we say uh, it's arranged. We are going to the Red Sea this summer. So this is number one. We choose. Uh, are going to because um, we talk about an arrangement. Number two, I think my cousin will study, studies going to study, would study engineering. So what's the clue here? The clue word is think. Think. So when we talk about something you think of or the word think, here this is a, a simple a future simple or simple future, which is will plus infinitive. So I think my cousin will study. So will, why will plus infinitive? Because the word think. So you have to know each clue of each sentence so you can decide what to do. Next, uh, this is the question, tennis after school today. Tennis after school today. So here the question is, uh, are you playing tennis? Are you playing tennis? Why is present continuous? Because you have the word today. So the word today is talking about the keyword, clear keyword for present continuous. So are you, uh, are you playing tennis after school today? Present continuous, because this is the word today. And here, this doesn't refer present continuous, of course. Present continuous here refers future, refers future. When we have a plan for the future, we use present continuous. Four, my German lesson, this number four, my German lesson starts at four o'clock, starts at four o'clock. So that means, that means we talk about a schedule or timetable. So when we talk about schedule or timetable, the uh, tense used is present simple. So my German lesson starts, my German lesson starts. Okay, this is number uh, four starts. Why? Because we have a fixed time, four o'clock. Four o'clock is a fixed time, so present simple for time table. Okay, number five, the uh, launch of the satellite is at 7.50 uh, tomorrow. The launch of the satellite, the launch of the start, so it will be is. Uh, at 7.50, why is? This is present simple. Again, a schedule or timetable. Again, a schedule or timetable. We have time here. So we have to say is present simple to refer future in case of schedules. Six, we will probably be there for two weeks. We will probably be there for two weeks. So we will, why do we use will? Because we have the word the probably. So probably like think. Look at here, look at here, think and probably. Both of them uh, when are keywords for the future simple. So we say, well, we will probably be there. Seven, I can talk at the moment. I can talk at the moment, I am doing my homework. I can't talk at the moment, I'm doing my homework. So the meaning here that something is happening now. So present continuous here doesn't refer future as usual or as the rest of the sentence. Present continuous here refers to now at the moment. Okay, so this is present continuous, refers present. Number eight, I can meet you this afternoon. I ate the shopping. I can meet you this afternoon. I what the shopping. So here we have 
I am doing the shopping. I do, I have done, I may do. Okay, here this is I am doing. Why? Because I have a, a plan for the future. So this, I arrange it to do some, something. So this is present continuous. Nine, hello, Ahmed. I to the airport in a minute. Hello, Ahmed. I walk to the airport in a minute. So I'm going to, I'm going to the airport in a minute. I'm going to. 10, my plane at 10 o'clock tomorrow. My plane at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So what's here? Here we talk about schedule or something has a certain time, 10 o'clock. So of course we say leaves, my plane leaves. My plane leaves, why this is schedule. I'm studying medicine. This is number 11. I'm studying medicine. I am going to be a doctor. I'm going to be a doctor. Why going to be? Why going to? This is a plan, future plan. So we use going to plus infinity. I'm studying medicine. I'm going to be a doctor. She will, should, is going to or may probably do the shopping now. Okay, so we have the word again, probably, remember, probably. So probably, like think, future simple. Future simple means will, will do. She will probably do. 13, I expect that he, the match. I expect that he, the match. So here we say wins, will win, is going to win, is winning. So expect. Expect like think, like perhaps, like many other keywords refers future simple. So I expect that he will win the match. He will win the match. Why will? Because the word expect. 14, perhaps they visit us next Saturday. Again, this is perhaps. So perhaps I said like expect, like think, these words related to future simple. So perhaps they will visit us next Saturday. Okay, let's go to number 15. Somebody is knocking on the door. Somebody is knocking on the door. I am going and open it. I will go and open it. I have gone and open it or I go and open it. So what's the keyword here? The clue here is it's a quick decision. So somebody is knocking the door. Okay, I'll open it. Fine. So this is um, a, a simple future because we talk about quick decision. Quick decisions will. Quick decisions all the time will. The meaning is quick decision. We don't have a keyword uh, for that according to the meaning. 16. She to Spain makes a month, everything is arranged. So let's go to the word arranged. We said arranged, arrangement. So we talk about present continuous. So she's flying to Spain next today, next Monday. Everything is arranged. So she's flying. 17. I tennis with a friend, that's my plan. So circle the word plan, it's a plan. So I am going to play tennis, I'm going to play. Why going to plus infinitive? Because this is a plan. So to refer a plan, we use going to. To refer a plan, we use going to. He drives at breakneck speed. He drives at breakneck speed. He is going to have an accident. He is going to have an accident. So why? This is a prediction with evidence. We call it a prediction with evidence. A prediction with evidence that we predict something and we have evidence for that. We know why we choose this kind of choice. So he is going, uh, uh, he is going to have an accident because we have an evidence for the accident. What's the evidence? That he drives at speed, at breakneck speed. So prediction with evidence, we use going to. Prediction without evidence, we use will. Okay. 
19. Watch out. You are going to drop the glasses. Watch out. You are going to drop the glasses. So what's the why are going to? Because we use the word watch out. So to for warning, we use going to plus infinitive. 20. This is the question. Will you help me with this heavy bag, please? Will you help me with this heavy bag, please? So why we use he will not going to, not should? Because we ask for help. We ask for help. So will you help me? This is a kind of uh, asking for help. We use will you. Use will for asking for help. OK, 21. Don't worry. I'll lend you the money you need. Don't worry. I'll lend you the money you need. Okay, so why will? Again, because we have words like, don't worry, it's a promise. So I'll lend you the money. This is a promise. Don't worry. I'll lend you the money. So in, in a case of a promise, we also use will. We also use will. Twenty-two. I will be twenty-five next Monday. I will be twenty-five next Monday. What's he? Why will be? This is a future fact. So when we talk about facts, when we refer facts, we use the word will. Okay. So it's a fact. So we use future simple for future facts. Twenty-three. I can see you tomorrow. I can see you tomorrow. I'm meeting my cousin. I'm meeting my cousin. So what I'm meeting, why? Present continuous. Why present continuous? Because I have an arrangement with someone else. So I use I am meeting. 24. 24. Don't phone me at 8 p.m. Okay, this is when we use when do we use this? I don't phone me. That's number 24. Don't phone me at 8 a.m. I will be driving future continuous. This is what we call future continuous. What's the meaning? Something will take duration in the future. Something takes duration in the future. It hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen and will take duration in the future. So I call you or I tell you, don't call me. Why? Because at that time, after a while or after at about eight o'clock, which it has never come, I will be driving the kids to school. So don't call me at this coming, upcoming time. We, what do we call this? We call it future continuous. Will be verb ing. Okay, 25. Look at those clouds look at those clouds it's going to rain it's going to rain why it's going to rain why it's why going to because we talk about a future prediction with evidence a future prediction with evidence so we talk about uh, going to is going to rain. okay 26 she will probably be a great success. She will probably be a great success. Why will? Because we have the word probably again. So this is the key word, probably. She has decided that she, this is 27. 27. Okay. She has decided that. She is going to study. She is going to study. Why? Because the word decided. Circle the word decided all the time to refer decisions. So decisions uh, uh, are used with going to plus infinitive. So she is going to study. 28, be careful. You are going to spill your coffee. Be careful. You are going to spill your coffee. That's a, a, a kind of warning. Warning, we use, our, we use going to with warning. Okay, 29, that's the phone. 29, that's the phone, I will answer it. Okay, that's the phone, I'll answer it. This is a quick session. The previous one, be careful. This is, um, uh, uh, 
a warning so so it's not going to for warnings you will use will be careful you, you will spill your coffee so this is a, a warning with will the second one is a quick decision with uh, uh, with will so i will answer the phone as well so quick decisions warning and threats 30 by 10 o'clock tonight by 10 o'clock tonight i will have finished all my homework I will have finished all my homework. So something uh, is gonna happen in the future and finish in the future. So um, here we talk about future action happened and is gonna finish by a certain time, okay? So by 10 o'clock tonight, I will have finished all my homework. What's the structure? Well, have a past participle. Okay, the last one, 31. There are no clouds in the sky. I think it's going to rain. This is uh, number 31. Okay, so there are no clouds. So this is not here. Okay, no, this example is not here. Here we, still, we uh, talk about number 30. Number 30 is the last one. Uh, compatible with your booklet. This is for future tenses we'll, we can have further explanation for them in class or in another uh, session online session as well 